Hello, my friends, and welcome to the long-awaited reunion of everyone in the Rising Stones as we explored at the end of the last part. We have the final patch of Heaven's Ward on our hands here after the, well, bit of a clusterfuck that was the last one. I mean, damned if it wasn't entertaining to watch, but so much just shit happened. Like, everyone came back, we need to hastily resolve plot lines for this final chapter, like... It, it was very entertaining, but from a narrative standpoint, holy shit, it was a mess. An entertaining mess, but nonetheless. A favor? Um, okay. All right. Okay, you guys still say the same thing. All right. What do you two have to say for yourselves? Okay, so you don't say anything different? Okay, and you know, nobody else says anything different. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. I mean, technically I've only been gone for five minutes, but. Okay, I'm here. Why did I have to come all the way over here? What's going on? Um, okay? Oh my god, I've been gone for five minutes. Why does everything happen when I just happen to leave and take a break for just a few minutes? The world all falls apart. Ugh. Never a moment's rest. We're here! Did we miss anything? Uh, uh, where's Tadaro? Uh, she is a member. We would not presume to begin without you, Ida. Orianger has returned to the Waking Sands, but everyone else is now present. Uh, uh, yeah, Tadaro. Yes, but for what, exactly? We all have duties to attend to, Elfino, so you may dispense with the preamble. Uh, she isn't a seen member of this group. Why is she not at this meeting? Thank you, Elise. It is the very subject of those duties which compelled me to call this gathering. Though the warriors of darkness no longer pose a threat, Eorzea's many troubles demand no less of our attention. And while I stand by the decision to approach each task as we see fit, I fear our effectiveness will ultimately be diminished should we continue to act in ignorance of each other's efforts. Thus, I propose we elect a successor to Minfilia. Not to serve as a fully-fledged antecedent, perhaps, but as a coordinator of operations. I'm still voting for our group dinner first Wednesday of every month. Is that all? Oh, well, then the decision seems clear. No one else has shown any enthusiasm for the role, and judging by your performance at our previous meeting, you would seem the perfect candidate. You always did have a flair for politics. 
wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did she just willingly nominate him to effectively be their boss? Damn, girl, you have come a long way. Oh my god, look at that grin on Kryal's face. Uh, I, I did not mean to. That was not my intention. Uh, oh, come on. Alphano, can I have Sassy Pants you back again for one minute? As my tenure as Commander of the Crystal Braves comprehensively demonstrated, I lack the qualities required for such an office. I would much prefer to remain as I am now, a soldier in the field, so to speak. Alphano, okay, no, no, seriously, you've been through plenty since then, okay? You've learned your lesson, all right? You, you seem to have lost, like, all your pride and confidence from that. Together, we have climbed to the peak of Somal. We have befriended Hreisfugger. We have rid the world of Nidhogg forever. We have done so much goddamn stuff together that no one can even compare to. You got balls of steel. You told the girly and Emperor to go fuck himself. You got this, bro. We'll be here every step of the way. Should none of our numbers step forward, must we then constrain some unwilling candidate to take up the position? Well, based on merit alone, a certain adventurer would be my choice. Though I concede she might struggle to balance her new responsibilities with, let me see, slaying primals, thwarting legatuses, and feeding the orphan poor. Uh, no. No. Do not ask me to do this. You guys asked a shitload of me already. Do not ask me to do this. Sancred makes a good point. Any who would wear such a mantle would be bound by its obligations. Have we not become sufficiently familiar with each other's methods to act without an overseer? At present, I see no cause to so willingly limit one of our number. Uh, no, it's not limiting one of your number, and need I remind you, Papa Lima, I nearly put your face on a fucking milk carton due to your failure to actually make sure the rest of the Scions knew you were alive and well. You have no room to talk right now. Oh, oh my goodness, you're... Help! I need some help here! Yeah, poor Tataru can't open the door. She's so short. Tataru, are you alright? No, she's not alright. You threw- you didn't let her in on a meeting! Me? I'm fine. It's this poor girl who just staggered in and collapsed on the floor that I'm worried about. Where the hell is everybody else? There's other medics in this room. Narco! God, how did- You stole her! Please, you have to help her! Kral, a hand if you would. Let us see about closing these wounds. Alright, so I'm gonna get the bleach. Now, we've staunched the bleeding, but it may be a while before you can move about again. Though, having seen your wounds, I'm surprised you are still moving at all. Can, can we get her a glass of water or something? Thank you. My message. It was too important to delay. I took the shortest route I could, though I knew it was more heavily patrolled. As you can see, my efforts at evasion were not entirely successful. Well, you made it here, so... Honestly, you're too brave for your own good. What was so urgent that you needed to fight half the Empire to get here? You could have been killed! I'm sorry, Ida. I had good reason. Ah, oh, but I imagine your friends are wondering who this bloody mess of a Mikote is. My name is Minago, and I belong to the Alamegan Resistance. Hi. I came to warn Ida and Papalimo about one of our leaders. A man who calls himself the Griffin. He's always been dangerous, but he's planning something new. Something reckless. The Griffin, you say? I've heard the name. Rumor has it your man is eager to test his claws. Aye, and on no easy target. He means to assault Belthar's wall from the Alamegan side. But what does the Griffin possibly hope to gain from such an attack? From what I understand, he wants the fires of war to spread to Eorzea. And for that, he needs to control the border with Gridania. So, 
He means to spark a conflict between the Alliance and the Imperial forces stationed in Alamigo. To have Eorzea's armies aid in the liberation effort, whether they will it or no. Crafty plan, I gotta give him that. His plan is flawed. Even should the Resistance succeed in occupying the Wall, they would not be able to hold it. Imperial reinforcements would drive them out within a week. Be that as it may, if there is even a chance that this scheme could bring about an escalation in hostilities between Eorzea and the Empire, the Alliance must be informed. Yeah, I'm with Kryal, because even when they, if they do take back the wall, I mean, they haven't told you where the wall is, but I know where it is. It's literally right on the border of Gajania. But that means Imperials will start to flood back into Eorzea again, something they actually haven't been doing for quite a while. So it pretty much puts us back on their radar. So while this initial conflict they're, they're, they're trying to spark may end up being short-lived, we're going to have to deal with the repercussions of it for a while after. Agreed. I should depart for Limsa Laminsa forthwith and seek an audience with the Admiral. Thancred, Uldar is yours. Alphano and Alize, make haste to the Twelveswood and notify the Elder Seedseer of the danger to Gridania. She would duly call a council of the Alliance leaders, whom you must be ready to receive. How do we go with the meet at her house? You will be our voice in Ishgard. Explain the situation to Sir Emmerich and encourage him to send an envoy. Tataru, Kryl, I leave the care of our injured messenger to you. See that she remains quiescent and her wounds closed. I believe that covers everything. Let us be about our tasks. Oh, okay, all right, sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold the phone here, guys. I suspect the ill tidings from Girabania will be held as a turning point. The beginning to a bloody end. The business of war was ever conducted with the coin of self-sacrifice. T'was Master Louis Soir himself who taught us that such costs are not to be ignored or denied. And so, I shall embrace them. When the time comes, I will make my choice. As you will yours. Yeah, Papalima, Papalima, I'm trying to explain something here if you could expositing for a moment. We literally just came out of a meeting to potentially elect a new leader. Okay, now it wasn't meant to be a leader in the full capacity, but at least it needed to be someone to, you know, like, like delegate, coordinate our information with, and when push came to shove and our forces were divided and we had to, you know, bring together and call, hey, emergency, everyone stop what you're doing, it needed to be somebody we agreed on and somebody we could trust. Okay, fine. Yastrola, what the fuck were you just doing just barking out orders to everybody there? I'm sorry, if you wanted the position of leader and having the privilege to do that, you could have nominated yourself. Nobody else was willing to step up and do it. You had the perfect opportunity right then and there. Writers, why did you let this happen? The scene literally just happened. It wasn't like in between patches. If at least it was that, I could understand because people's forgetful memory might forget about that. But we just got interrupted out of that meeting. There was no point in having such a meeting and having Alpha No turn it down only to no one else step up to have somebody else 30 seconds later start barking orders at everybody. I'm, I'm sorry, like, I actually really don't even like that I'm that I'm hating on Yashola so damn much, but the writers are really making it difficult for me to like her. And it's because of crap like this. Like, do I disagree with the order she gave? No, but she's acting like she's suddenly in charge of everything, and that would be completely fine if, again, we just didn't literally burst out of a meeting in the middle of such a discussion. It's all right, dude. It's okay.
Well, they kind of studied in Charland. They, they kind of have a bit of an advantage over you guys because they're nerds, okay? They like just study crap for like a living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Back to Ishgard we go. Let me say hello to our old friends who still haven't given me a medal and I still am able to finish dinner. <laughs> hello, my old friends. How are you doing? How are things been? Everything going great with the new government at all? You know, after all I've done for Ishgard, you'd think I'd be give, given privileges to barge through that door by now. Oh my god, he didn't remember. He didn't forget about our interrupted dinner. Hooray! Yeah, we'll have time for that later, but I'm, I'm glad you didn't forget. Okay, but you kind of got to make it quick. Situation is a little urgent. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold the phone here, Ceramics. Or hold the phone. Are we jumping the gun a little bit here? You don't know who you're sending yet. So therefore, you will be in the city to command it. Are you not still Lord Commander of the Temple Knights? Whatever. Hi, Lucia. I'm here. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me either, hence why he further pulls the command of the city rank down, even though he has not been officially nominated, nor did he say that, yeah, I fully intend to go, but I need to actually talk this over first. A tiny little detail that, that would have made that context make a little more sense. Just a little. No, no, I, I, I don't blame me for talking it over, but... All right, all right, all right. Well, stop a camp, dragon head. I wonder if the Count actually did end up, well, the former Count, who still has the title of Count above his name, because the game is silly, has actually nominated and or elected somebody new to run this place, huh? Yeah, let's just hope no one beats the crap out of you and tries to murder you this time. Oh? Oh, hi! I did not expect to see you guys here. We're gonna actually make her useful in a cutscene! I love you right now, game. Nice save, brah. Nice save. Although, I'm sure she would have taken no offense.
Um, a little bit, but... Oh, there's a painting of him. That's so sweet. Who drew that, though? And must know. Must know. All right. You d you just stay the course, bro. All right. You can totally do this, but you need to stay the course for me, okay? All right. I have faith in you, bruh. And don't you go wandering off. Take your responsibility seriously, okay? And you, my lovely cinnamon roll, stop being a doormat. When he needs a smack in the face, a metaphorical one, you give it to him, okay? All right. I'm trusting you guys. Not screw it up. Uh, I got guys, guys, the Conjurer's Guild, uh, that, well, I guess you guys haven't attuned yet, so. Never mind. Never mind. But I'm sure you need directions. Oh, this pales into comparison to the Churning Mist, man. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode. We have a lovely meeting ahead. Hopefully everybody else will be here shortly. Even if we do need to escort them. Over to the Lotus Stand. But I'm sure we're gonna enjoy the walk along the way. Maybe partially somewhat continue our hot date in the process, I guess. Probably the closest thing I'm ever gonna get to finishing that thing, but... I'll take what I can get at this point. Thank you for watching, friends, and I will see you next time.